There we go. Yes, interrupting his channeled attack. Hello reformers and welcome to a preview of Masters of Anima. Now this game will be out on Steam among other platforms spring 2018 as you can see on the screen right there. So let's get into it right away and experience the, I think it's a pretty awesome graphic style actually and I've already played a little bit of the game itself and uh, it's looking really appealing. Stop being a Muppet! You know the mantra. Master the power that binds, with spark for greater good. I can bind their anima. But where is the greater good in making soldiers? We should be making stonemasons to repair our crumbling wonders. The wonders have been here for centuries and are doing just fine. Once you shape a guardian, it will do whatever asked of it. Carry stones, lay mortar. Anna, how are they to lay stones? They have axes for hands. We're shaping warriors for a war that ended a thousand years ago. 665 years ago? Your test is in less than an hour. You need to know your dates. Anna, I'll be fine. It just feels like a waste of rare and precious anima. Otto! Guardians serve and protect the lands of Spark. They are bound to a purpose and so are you. You are now promised to become a Shaper, but first you must pass your trials. Anna, you are my betrothed, but you're also the Supreme Shaper, the most powerful Anima Master in all of Spark. You can conjure an army of Guardians, more than any ten Shapers. What does it matter? The Supreme Shaper of Spark cannot marry an apprentice, Otto. It's forbidden by law and tradition. Our wedding is in two moons. If you don't pass your trials, you can go and find yourself a mason's daughter. Anna, I'm well prepared. I'll pass. There is nothing in this world that would keep me from you. Jacku is waiting for you. Now hurry. Oh, and don't die. I won't marry a dead man either. There is no more putting this off. I'm going to pass the trials today. I may never become a great shaper, but I'll be an amazing supreme husband to Anna. Alright, so welcome to Masters of Anima, and we Otto? are gonna be... Are you still here? Yes. You're going to be late for your trials. Get going. We're gonna get Sorry, told off a little bit. Just mustering my, um, my thoughts. Yes, exactly. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna do it, because we need to pick up some lilies. Silver lily, Anna's favourite flower. If I don't pass, maybe a nice bouquet will cheer her up. Or at least, cool her anger. Now, right now, I'm playing this using a gamepad. You can play using a keyboard and mouse as well, but I decided, because a gamepad is recommended, that I'd go with that. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up as many lilies as we can on our way to our grand test, and uh, hopefully we're gonna pass. Well, we'll see. Anyway, you can see here that Otto actually does have a chain attack. We are going to be participating in combat, but for the most part, Otto is more of a commander of units, more than an actual fighter. And you will see exactly what I mean about that as we progress. Anyway, a small emanation of anima tamed by the ancient wonders. Recover anima to fill your stock of orbs. Now. Anima is used to construct, well, soldiers, basically. Different types of soldiers as well. And you first start off with soldiers that have a regular shield and sword kind of setup. And I would assume as you progress through the game, you're going to be able to get more and more and different archetypes of these soldiers. So archers, two-handed, weapon users, maybe even magic users, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Let's take a look and speak to Jakku now. You are late, Otto. Sorry, Master Jakku. I was admiring the architecture. This place fascinates me. I believe you are the oldest student to attempt to pass the trials since... 
Since forever. I just lack the proper motivation. But I am indeed ready. Uh, shall we get started? Let us enter the Hall of Tribulations. Follow me. Today, Apprentice Otto presents himself within the ancient Hall of Tribulations to demonstrate his fundamental mastery of the powerful art of shaping and to vow. I know it's customary, Master Jakku, but could we just start already? I, I know the litany by heart. Anna made me memorize it. Very well. It would be nice to get this done before lunch. Apprentice Otto, do you present yourself willingly? Fully aware of the risks to mind, heart, and body? Yes, I do. And I have the scars to prove it. Then let the trials begin. Your first test is the shaping of a guardian protector. Alright, so this is going to be easy enough. We just have to summon some guardians. Protectors are robust guardians, armed with an axe and proficient with their shield. Their good resistance makes them a solid frontline defense during combat. Now we're going to have a huge amount of soldiers under our command as we progress and as we increase the capacity of our power. Right then, master the power that binds. When you create a guardian, it is bound to your spark, your will. Now. Move around and see if the binds hold. Alright, so we can move around and we can also, well, tell our guardians to go wherever we so desire. But right now we'll just move Excellent. here. Now, loosen the binds and order your protectors to move to a location. Yes, so we could just tell them to go wherever we so desire. So let's tell them to go over there. And now, Otto... What comes next? I tighten the binding so they follow me once again. I could do that in my sleep. That's it. Show me now how you can control your guardians in action. Order them to move to this location. Now make a temporary binding and order them to this new location. Excellent. Let's test the heartiness of their spark. I will shape a target Moppet, and you command your protectors to destroy it. It would be so easy to just smash it with my staff. I may be an elder, but I'm not deaf. Use your guardians. Fantastic. Now, concentrate. The statue behind me has an ancient purpose. When properly set, anima flows through it, appeasing the eternal temper of Mount Spark. Move the statue to its ordained place. I doubt you have enough anima to do this. You can find some in the target moppets I have crafted. Destroy as many as you require. Alright, so let's go and get some anima then. I mean, basically anima is found everywhere, including in these little vases and various other objects, but for the most anima, you're probably going to have to kill things. So let's try and take out these moppets here. There we go, and we can summon some more guardians, yes. And I think we should almost have enough. I think we just need to go over here and kill the remaining Moppets. And uh, obviously kill the remaining vases as well. Well, destroy them. I've run short of anima. There we go, we should have enough now, we have 16. I think I can probably get more than that, but at the moment we can deal with it with that. So now, in this game there are going to be a couple of puzzle type things. Now if you are familiar with the game called Pikmin, then you'll know that this is kind of similar to that in a way. 
So we can tell our forces to push the statue, then we can recall them, and then we can push them into position. Well, push the statue into position at least. I did it, Master Jakku! It's working! Well, that's a novel solution. Everyone else has always just animated this... No, no matter. You've accomplished the task. Disband your guardians and follow me to the entrance of the hall. Is that all? I passed then. Well, that was a whole lot easier than Anna said it would be. Otto of Snowcrest Valley, I hereby declare you a Shaper of Anima and award you the Melder's Medallion. Symbol of your rank, courage, and dedication to the protection of the lands of Spark. Symbol of the Shabers of Spark, this medallion can increase the power of its wearer by inserting life crystals and power runes within it. Oh, Anna will be so happily surprised. Pledge with me the creed of the Shapers. Master the, the power, power that binds with Spark, spark for, for greater, greater good. good. We, we are, are the, the world, world we shape. shape. In flesh, in stone, in wood. What in the name of the ancient shapers is happening? Ah, oh, Spark! She rages! The heart shield must be broken! Master Jakku! Watch out! Oh. Oh. Master Jakku? Are you okay? I can't find you! I'm fine, Otto. We need to find the Supreme Shaper. Anna? Well, wait! I I'm coming with you! There's no time. Meet me at Anna's home. If the Heart Shield is broken, we'll need every Shaper we can find! Master Jakku? Master! He left without me. I need to go and find Anna. I doubt she needs me, but I can provide moral support. Yeah, I can provide moral support as well. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we are going to be summoning our guardians. Yes. And we're going to destroy a bunch of different things here as well because we, we need the anima, don't we? Yes, we need the anima. Now, these red things over there, they are corruption crystals. And we are going to need to destroy those with our guardians. We cannot actually take Otto nearby to those things at all because they will damage him. They will damage him and do a lot of damage. As you can see, the eruption has projected crystals filled with a strange corruption that contaminates the area. Okay, let's tell those guys to go over there and just kill the crystal. As you can see, uh, if I go close, I'm going to take a little bit of... There we go. There's a little bit of damage. going to summon some more of my guardians here and we're gonna gain experience every single time we kill some of these crystals as well but hopefully we'll be able to get to Anna sooner rather than later because yeah, well they need every shaper they can get I just wish I had some way of beating on these crystals but oh well never mind I'll have to let my guardians do the job for now and now we are going to uh, be the subject of a little bit of aerial bombardment, shall we say. Because there are some uh, some pieces of artillery going on here. And I'm not even talking about actual artillery, but there are rocks falling from the sky right now. And another puzzle we have. There we go. Now I can summon my maximum amount of units and we can kill these relatively well. There we go. I've got to be careful because I don't want Otto to get himself killed, do I? Just going to tell them to go over there and kill that other crystal because I don't know how much experience I actually need in general, but I'd like to get as much as possible. I mean, obviously, to get to the next level, I'm going to need a hundred. So, it might take me a bit of time to get there. 
Hmm, how am I going to deal with this? I guess I have to push it this way and then push it to the right, I guess. Hmm, maybe not. Hmm, seems like I just needed to push it out the way. I've got no choice. Hmm, the raw anima that creates golems has a chaotic nature that unleashes its power if contained for too long. Destroy golems before the rage gauge <laughs> located beneath their life bar empties. Otherwise, golems will unleash increasingly violent attacks. Alright, let's do it. Let's attack him. I don't know how we're going to do this because he's going to be pretty difficult. Ah, okay, I get it. You can see what I'm attempting to do here. They are charging up a very, very easily telegraphed attack, but last time I decided that I wasn't going to move my forces away from it. But this time, yeah, I did that. So, I'm learning, I'm learning. That one had thick skin. Well, I really shouldn't have taken any damage there, but yes, I shouldn't I shouldn't have lost any guardians either, but I still got a rank S. Obviously, it is just because this is still kind of the tutorial a little bit. A wonder that transfers the essence of life contained in tamed anima. Restores Otto's health entirely. Very nice. That's exactly what I need right now. I can't shape anymore. Ah, so it looks like we need to use anima to open gates as well. During combat, Otto can use an orb of anima to activate surrounding guardians, triggering their special ability. Move Otto amid a group of guardians, then trigger the battle cry. When activated by Otto's battle cry, protectors smash their combat target using their shields. Watch out, some golem attacks can be countered by the shield slam. The icon of protectors will appear on the enemy. Trigger the ability at the right time to deal a critical strike and stun the enemy for a short period. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Well, I did that a little bit wrong, but we're going to we're going to get the hang of it. There we go. Yes, interrupting his channeled attack. in a hard place. Mm, very nice. And we get some extra experience dependent on how we did. 
in that particular fight, so I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so we only lost three Guardians that time, which i got to say is pretty nice. Much, uh, much more improved than our last fight, that's for sure. Alright, so we can... Uh, well, we can't move any further because we have a crystal. I think I'm going to need to either, yeah, I think I probably just need to move this to the side. I was thinking that I might have to push it ahead of us, but no, I think just to the side will be fine. Anna! Ah! Anna, I found you. Stay alert, Otto. There may be more of them. <laughs> Zar, is this your doing? What have you done? I'm simply breaking chains forged by shapers centuries ago. You vowed to serve and defend Spark. I serve Spark. I'm saving her. Now, allow me to unbind your soul from the Shaper's wicked creed. No! Ah! Anna! Otto, I see that Anna's betrothed has earned the Shaper's staff. How could you kill Anna? She's not dead, only son. But the Shapers wouldn't have taught you anything about the Forbidden Powers now, would they? Zah! If you've any honor in you, bring your fight to me! The battle is already won, Master Jakku. I've all I need to set the world adrift, free from you and your crumbling illusions. We shall meet again in my unshapen paradise. <laughs> well, there we have it. A rather unfortunate end to that level, but we did hear that Anna is not dead. She is only sundered, so I can assume that we will have an opportunity to save her. Now, we do have a variety of different skills that we will be able to unlock as well. As you can see here, roll. Otto rolls, quickly moving in the specified direction. Otto deals 400% increased damage to stunned golems with critical strikes. Increases Otto's attraction radius of anima flames. During battle cry, Otto negates any damage taken. Otto's maximum controllable population of guardians is increased by two. And then, of course, you can improve your various guardians as well. And as you can see, there are four more guardians along the way on the right there that you can specialize into. So I'm thinking, what are we going to take? We do have two skill points technically, so... Hmm... Ah, that seems pretty good. Let's go for Relentless. That's going to get them up a lot quicker when they get pushed down to the ground. And we're going to increase his maximum population by two. After a terrible battle, Anna has been sundered into three parts by Zair the Banished. Each part of Anna has been locked away in a soul shard and taken away by the Sunder Lord. Master Jakku, tell me the truth. Is Anna dead? She has been sundered. Zah has unbound the colors of her essence, her mind, body, and heart. He'll have placed her colors in soul shards, powerful crystals he can use to control golems. Sundering a soul is an evil and forbidden magic used by the Lords of Sunder. Well, Sunder does sound bad. But it doesn't sound dead. There must be a way to mend her. Mend her? Zah has broken the heart shield. The world will soon be overrun with golems. You saw what Zah did. Anna was, is the supreme shaper. He shattered her. I'm going to find her pieces, put her back together and get as far away from here as we can. Otto, 
Zha will grow stronger as he learns to draw power from soul shards. If we don't act quickly, we may never be able to stop him. He could bring the world to its knees. Anna is my world. Zha can rule the rest of it. So be it. Save Anna. Then maybe she can save the world. Meet me at the Shrine of Sentinels. If you're going after soul shards, you're going to need more than just protector guardians. You're going to need an army. Well, you heard Master Jakku, and that means that we're going to be pursuing him. But... As it happens, that will be the end of this episode. If you'd like to play the game or at least add it to your wish list, as it's not out yet, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.